I've had the idea of animals in the back of my mind for many years. Sometime during the middle of the recording, it seemed like the right thing to tie it all together. The big thing was the development of Britannia Row, our own recording studio. And this was a fairly major departure for us. We had built our own studio in Islington and went into them and started trying to record in a brand new place which had all its teething problems. You've got to be crazy you got to have a real need There are very sort of um, thoughts on, on animals that it uh, is a bit grittier. The Orwellian idea of animal farm and of people characterised um, anthropomorphically as animals um, just seem kind of neat. We had some of the music. Um, Dogs actually was already largely recorded and was called You Gotta Be Crazy at the time and um, at some point during the making of it the animal's idea arrived to Roger and he tied it in to the project. All the ideas that there are in dogs and sheep and pigs are still with us. But it wasn't called sheep then. It was called raving and drooling, but it did have the idea of being led to slaughter. It's moving away a little bit from the soundscapes that we did on the Wish You Were Here album into something that is a little more in your face and a little more rough and ready and more aggressive. The lyrics are a lot more aggressive from Roger. It was really good to feel that we were making that departure. We had a lot of fun making the Animals album. In the 1920s, London, like many major cities, was growing rapidly. And so was its need for electricity. This sparked an historic proposal for a new generating facility, big enough to supply the whole of central and west London, a coal-burning power station in the heart of the capital, in Battersea. Construction began on the first phase in the early 1930s, and by 1957, the power station was complete, boasting cutting-edge technology and hailed as an architectural triumph. The Daily Herald called it a flaming altar of the modern temple of power. Elaborate step brickwork and Doric fluted chimneys soared high into the air, cementing the building's place in the London skyline. Carved bronze figures representing energy and power stood watch on the doors, which opened to reveal a luxurious interior, from pristine parquet flooring to intricate bronze ceiling scrollwork. At its peak, it produced nearly one-fifth of London's power, roughly half the output of a modern nuclear power plant. But after 50 years of active service, Battersea finally closed. Its smoke receded and its chimneys stood idle. As we were at that process of trying to figure out what to put on the cover, and so, so it's the idea of flying pigs, if pigs could fly. But it's also the fact that it's a power station, so it's like, and that it's upside down, and also that there are four chimneys. 
you know, and there are four phalluses, and there were four people in the band. But, but then the idea of creating the event of a big inflatable pig flying over Battersea Power Station. I remember being there and, and this thing going up and it disappearing over the horizon when a, a, a steel, I think it was a steel ring about that size, broke. Out of the pig sailed up and away, right into the path of planes flying to Heathrow Airport. <laughs> Everyone was beginning sort of to be partly amused but partly thinking we might be caught up in one of the worst aviation disasters in the history of the planet. You, Storm, whoever had thought about having a marksman there for exactly that sort of eventuality. Um, but of course, he hadn't turned up yet. I think we couldn't wait to get the bloody thing up in the air. The pilot of the police helicopter certainly couldn't climb as fast as the pig could. I think the pig had a climb rate of over 2,000 feet a minute, and the helicopter couldn't, couldn't stay with it. At nine o'clock in the evening, I received a call from a farmer in Kent. He said, are you looking for a pink pig? Well, it's in my field, frightening my cows. The Pink Floyd road crew went down that night, picked it up. We reinflated it the next day and flew it again. Roger Waters had a vision which was completely unique. That was this idea of an electronic theatre. There was no other band in the world that was thinking along, along those lines. OK, we're starting off with the idea of an inflatable pig. What else? Well, other inflatables. Well, let's make a nuclear family, yeah. you know, two and a half children or whatever. And a, I don't know, what else? A car and a this and that. He uh, described this idea he had of uh, huge inflatable figures representing the nuclear family. A week afterwards, I went to Rotterdam and showed the drawings to Roger and the rest of the Pink Floyd. And he said, yeah. So we started building inflatables. Here we've got the inflatable family, the father and the mother, the son, the one and a half children. The thing I liked the most about the nuclear family was that it was a man and a woman on a sofa, and then there were two and a half children, and the half child was like cut through like that. Roger then asked me to do a car and a fridge and a television set. I've no idea where the fridge came from, but it had a door that would pop open and all this kind of worms would come out of the fridge. And also we made a, a much, much larger helium-filled figure of the father, which was flown as a flag over the stadiums when we were on the American tour, which looked absolutely fantastic. Best of all was the sheep, which were mortars that could fire, you know, a thing the size of your fist, a thousand feet in the air, but when it went boof, it wasn't a big firework, it was a parachute in the shape of a sheep, and they looked amazing. They looked like sheep floating down. This particular tour, the Animals Tour, I think was a... It was in the vanguard. It was, it was the first, like that. In 2018, I heard there was going to be a remix of the Animals album, and I immediately thought, perhaps we should update the album cover. This is the actual spot where we flew the pig for the first time between the two chimneys. Since then, there's been a massive refurbishment of Battersea Power Station. You know that I care.
what happens to you And I know that you care By this time I could see Battersea Power Station was under serious regeneration and I thought if I didn't act quickly it'd be shrouded with apartment blocks So I don't feel alone or the weight of the stone now the fully restored building is barely visible except from the north of the Thames. I found a location from a nearby bridge and with photographer Rupert Truman, I shot Roger Waters' original idea but with a different slant. I then muted the colours to give the picture the bleak Orwellian feel of the record. From pigs on the wing The new album cover caught the essence of the original just in time. <laughs>